Hey there, it's Ron with Insurance for Texans. And we've been spending some time on catastrophic health insurance the last few days. And today we're gonna to talk about the accident policy component of that. But before we do that, I just wanna say if you enjoy or get useful information out of our YouTube channel, hit the, the subscribe button down below, turn on those alerts and notifications so that you'll know when the next installment of our tips about insurance in Texas comes out. That said, let's talk about the second component of a catastrophic health insurance policy. People search for alternatives to the exchange policies that were created when the Affordable Care Act went into place. And one of the ways that especially the younger crowd is doing that is by seeking out catastrophic health insurance. They see it as a great alternative because it is, it's more cost effective, number one. Number two, they don't feel like they go to the doctor very often, so they just wanna protect themselves on the, uh, on the big ticket items. So let's talk about how an accident policy does that. Uh, the accident policy is gonna cover you when something goes wrong. Let's say you're skiing uh, in Canada, or maybe you're riding a mountain bike in Colorado, or maybe you are up on your roof putting up Christmas lights and you take a tumble and you break an arm, you break a leg, you, you hurt yourself in a fashion that is an accident. Um, this is gonna involve a trip to the ER. It may involve surgery, cast, follow up with orthopedic surgeons. The bill can become large in a hurry. If that's the case, the accident policy is gonna provide you benefit to that. So how does it work? We've got four key components to it. Number one is the deductible. Number two is what we're gonna to refer to as the covered amount. The third is coinsurance. And then the fourth is the benefit maximum. So let's take a look at each of those four. Number one is the deductible. Most people are familiar with this. It is accident specific. So let's say it's $1,000. It can be higher, it can be lower. But if it's $1,000, you're gonna be responsible for that first $1,000 of the bill that comes with this, uh, of the care after the accident. The second is gonna be the covered amount. So we have this amount of money uh, that is going to be paid out uh, after the deductible for the services rendered. So let's say that the total bill is $25,000 and the uh, deductible is a thousand. So we have a $24,000 total amount left over. The covered amounts typically going to be 80%. And so the, the hot, the insurance company is going to pay that money directly to the hospital, to the physician, uh, to the, uh, the, the folks that are putting the cast on that 80% is you're, you're never going to pay it. What you are going to pay that goes along with that is the coinsurance which is 20%, so 80% plus 20% is 100%. So 20% of $24,000 is $4,800. That would be your responsibility plus the deductible for the total bill uh, after this uh, fall from your roof has occurred and you have broken your arm in spectacular fashion and your wife is making fun of you like mine would of me. That greatly reduces the bill. Now. If it's a big accident, we've got a care flight involved, something, you, you went big instead of going home, the benefit maximum is gonna kick in on the amount that's covered. That's the fourth piece. So it's likely to be capped out at $100,000. Make sure that if you're gonna go big, you don't go too big. <laughs> uh, but what we'll talk about in another installment later is how the hospital indemnity is gonna pair with that. So why would you consider using a catastrophic health policy and pairing this accident policy with the critical illness and the hospital indemnity? Again, this is for big stuff only. If you're going for a cold to the urgent care or you're using the ER as a primary care doc, this is not your cup of tea. This is for folks who have good primary care that they are willing to pay cash for to save money on their overall health costs throughout a year. It's to keep you from financial ruin. It is real insurance, so that's gonna make it a differentiator from the health sharing plans. You're not gonna pay the bill until the claim has been settled and the final amount is determined. That gives you some flexibility and negotiating power with that health system. It is renewable up to the age of 65 when Medicare would kick in. 
that's a great thing for you because it goes on in perpetuity. It gives you options. And that is what most Texans are looking for, that freedom to do what they want, the option to get the care that they want in the way that they want. And a catastrophic health uh, plan does that. And the accident policy itself is a key component to that. I'm Ron with Insurance for Texans. If you want to read more about the accident policy itself, there's a link in the comments below. If you love what you heard, hit the subscribe button. Leave us a question. Leave us a comment. I'm Ron with Insurance for Texans, and we're here to help Texans.